Cheers is filmed before a live studio audience. You know, the most wonderful thing just happened to me on the way over here. And what is that? I was in a car accident. Oh, yeah, enough like a little broken glass and twisted metal to put the spring back in your step. No, this was actually just a fender bender, but the bender happens to be a plastic surgeon. Now, he doesn't want me to report this to the insurance company, so he said he will give me the plastic surgery procedure of my choice. Isn't that great? <laughs> Tell him we do one thing. Uh-huh. Report the accident. <laughs> so, uh, what part are we gonna do? I don't know yet. He gave me this book to look through and decide what I wanted done. Oh, uh. Miss Howe, I don't think you'd look good with a honker that size. <laughs> That's the before. Here's the after. Well, that is smaller. Now, um, what do they do with the leftover nose bits? Oh, man. Oh, man. It's just a little bit gross. Well, that's a good question. I mean, they put pig snouts in liver sausage. Oh! They do not. Read the package. All right, Rebecca's back. You uh, decide what to have the body and fender man fix? I not only made the decision by myself, thank you very much, but I've already had the surgery performed on an outpatient basis. Already? Wow, they look great. <laughs> Woody, he didn't work on my breasts. Well, then why are they so much perkier? Thank you, Woody. No, thank you. Miss Adam, can I have tomorrow off? Woody, I pay you for 40 hours a week. I expect 40 hours work. Besides, I need you to take me to go get my car once it's finished being detailed. Well, what time will that be? Right after my beauty shop appointment. I'm getting cellophane highlights put in my hair, and then I'm going to have a manicure and then a pedicure. Pedicure? Yeah, I have a date with Robin tonight, and I might want to play footsie. <laughs> All right, I can drive you, Miss Howe. Good. But, but after that, if there's time, could I take off? God, Woody, what is so all-fired important about your stupid life? <laughs> well, I cook and deliver meals to elderly shut-ins. Oh. <laughs> You know, I, I normally do it on my day off, but this week on my day off, I'm doing a walkathon for illiteracy. We're against it. Well, okay, then that would be all right, Woody. Oh, oh Miss Hunt. Wait, I'm recycling glass bottles. I want this world to be clean for our children. I mean, my children. Or your children. Or our children. <laughs> That's how you got a date with someone else tonight. It seems like a long shot. <laughs> Woody, you're so good, and I'm so bad. I, I feel guilty and ashamed. I mean, I feel like killing myself. Well, I also volunteer for a suicide hotline. <laughs> Woody, I mean, what did you find out about the history of this place? Nothing much. Really? Just pulling your chain, yank, yank. <laughs> No, no, looky here. I got this great big Boston history book. Near as I can figure, this place was originally called Mom's. Mom's? <laughs> you know, I bet Mom was some twinkly little old lady and all the whalers used to come in here and, and, and order her homemade apple pie. Well, no, actually, uh, Mom was an aging ex-fan dancer who provided free room and board to attractive newly arriving immigrant girls. <laughs> Please say yank yank. No, it says so right here. You know, this actually reminds me of a cute little old place they had back in Hanover. Woody, you've got the wrong idea. Yeah, you're probably right. The place back in Hanover was a whorehouse. <laughs> Fantastic! Aren't you guys supposed to have a monkey? Frazier, I'm not clenching. The child is simply not ready to be born. Well, if the child is two weeks overdue. Boy, two weeks overdue? Why, you'd be out of buck forty at the library. <laughs> the mayor. Hi. And look, he's got a little plaque. Well, he's probably too busy to brush between meals. No. <laughs> Darling, Sam just told me. Are you feeling any discomfort? Whoa! 
I'll take that as a yes. I'll go pull the car around. We'll be at the hospital in no time. Say, Woody, would you help her with her Lamaze? What's Lamaze? Oh, Woody, there's no time for that now. All right, very briefly. It's a psychoprophylactic relaxation method. It was discovered by the great late Dr. Ferdinand Lamaze while on a trip to Russia. It was later perfected. Holy mother of pearl! Well, just go hoo, 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 hee, hee, hee. I'm going to uh, boil some water. What for? I'm going to have some tea. Do you want some? <laughs> How's that go again? Woody, 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 take it easy. Don't let Lilith hyperventilate there. Can't go to graduation, huh? No, he can't. What's the excuse? He's dead. <laughs> that old one. <laughs>